Hello there. So in this video, we're going to explore control net. We've done before with animations and other elements. And uh, if you're not familiar, I will provide links below for you to see how you can install, how to work in animations and how to use just in general with the different models. So right now, what we're going to do, we'll have it multiple control nodes, see how they interact between each other. So first, let's go ahead in our extensions and be sure we have it. Our control net extension is installed and it's updated. You can click check for update, which is going to verify it. If you have it something not up to date one, you'll notice right here it says behind all what you need to do, click apply and restart UI. Okay, after done, we can go to extensions, click again, check for update, be sure it's updated correctly. And you can see right here, it should be all up to date. Now, after this, we'll need to go inside the settings and settings on the left side. If you scroll down below right here with control net, we'll click on this and let's take us to settings for the control net. One thing what do we need to look at is multi control net maximum models. So right now we have one, we can do two, three and so on. The more we put it, the more mix between them happening. And we'll look maybe on experimental afterwards, how we can do. Let's start with the two at this time. So right here, you can see we're going to put a two model. We want to click apply settings, but next we also need to reload UI. So that our settings will be accepted by application. Okay. When it's reload done, we can scroll down and we can see right here text to image tab, control net zero and control net one. Okay. So let's go ahead and start kind of add stuff. Before what we've done, we used some pose to create pose and use this in control net. And it's what we still can do this. We can go open, create open pose. And we can say, for example, let's just change this, our sticky figure, like maybe holding hands around the net. Next, I want to select and let's make just a little bit smaller around here. Notice we don't have it like sent to control net or sent just image image to text because with all this multi node, it's still kind of confusion. So at this point we want just to save this as PNG. Okay. As it's saved down, we'll go used after let's go now text to image and I'm going to paste. I'm using mid journey, open journey uh, model, just different. You can use any of them and we'll go just create cause durable mouse. Um, put it weight so we'll show its mouse at these wearing leather coat steampunk for the realistic oil. Okay, let's go ahead and open first control net and this will just go drag and drop, put it our model inside position. We'll be sure it's enable. And because this image it is pre-processed, because it's already have a form for us, all what you need to do is select model. For this, we'll select our normal open pose. So we're using model. Okay, let's leave everything as default and click generate. Okay, so right here we have our image generated and you can see we have a nice pose of the mouse standing. So next, what we also can do, we can apply different type of elements on the background to create um, environment. So example right here, we go one below the our second one, we add it, we expand it and we can just go ahead and drag and drop probably different images. I'm going to use this image. It was created in a um, does 3D library. So we're going to use this one. We enable and at this moment, I think we can experiment a little bit with different type of the models and see which one work for us the best. Most of them we can look at the models. What it probably want to use it is or a depth line if you have it. But right here we have some organic lines. So lines maybe not work as well if we need it. But we also want to create, um, you know, maybe the scrabble. So we'll see. Kenny can work as well. Let's go start with the depth because it will create depth of the map. We're going inside here. Let's go select depth as well as model, preprocessor and model. Notice we don't have it any of the old libraries. So it's kind of will be randomly. We want to specify place. And you know what? I should have done this maybe a little bit before. Let's go ahead and um, floor books. I think that should work. 
okay now what let's go disable this for a second i just want to be sure that what we added inside old library all this stuff it's kind of will transfer okay and it's things transfer okay at this moment and we can go ahead and enable our image on which base it with a depth map so let's go ahead right now as we're preloading you'll notice in ours it's preloading two models and it will process through the depth and will process also through the our open pose model as well okay right here we have and notice what's happening we have it our model we have it our mouse and because the library on kind of above and there's our depth map sometimes can be a little bit worse come up because those models need interact together and this is one of the hardest part to do because on this we need to find which better it will work so let's go just try switch to the Kenny and we'll see which one model will work for us the best this time okay and then this time we totally lost our mouse so here's our mouse here's a Kenny image and you can see how many details blending does not necessarily work very well because it's too much of information need kind of embedded together so another things we can also use it there um, let's go to hand you know best way if we're going through some of those elements so you can compare them together and see which one you think it's work better overall here we have it a main character and we have a background and we have a description for the positioning of the our character and environment and we can see it's definitely work a little bit better so if we preview this our model this is outline because outline just in properly areas with environment and we can see our mouse a little bit better inside the our environment okay let's go ahead and we also try MSD. this is more as a single lines will be um, creating architectural other things i it's nice when in this model work in some elements but um it will be kind of like blocky I think when created but again I do like this render that was actually created it's very nice integration okay so you can see the lines it's kind of architectural almost and because we try to make with pose organic it does apply it but again it's not necessarily as best as one before that model and of course let's finish with a few normal map it's we kind of will won't work very well scribble may be working with this because what scribble will does for us it's creating kind of like contrast between luminosity levels in some cases it's work but i found it's more work better with natural like maybe forest or um, scenery work it's not necessarily best will work as inside here okay so right here done and you can see we don't even have a kind of model even applied to this and i think the reason is no, but still enable it it just scrabble does not saw too much contrast different in this area so it's all black and it just apply to the text same like before we could increase a little bit weight but again it's probably won't be this segmentation if you know it will create a different areas if identify but again uh, we'll try this but i think the contrast rate is not that high okay it's how i said before let's look on our and you can see right here we have floor all the separation and that should provide a little bit more information for us to create it and it's what happening here of course we need to define a little bit better on our mouse because he look like um survive some chernobyl or some other areas um but general positioning of one and another is work as well so this is not bad way to create integration of the two images and text prompt together and this is not bad way when you try to implement text in other ones however i found if you just go to image and image what we've done before we'll take our library put it as a image based our information go inside enable control net zero we'll take our image upload it enable switch the model to open pause pop up pause a little bit higher and as well we can just a little bit reduce maybe the noise to about five 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 maybe okay and if we're going to generate this way we probably will get a little bit better result with a library and other things because i think it's worked a little bit better on implementation this way so it is very nice to use it um 
the control net with the multiple nodes and it's probably um, kind of fun when you're creating integrations but if you're interested that's a replaceable ground I think image to image perform a little bit better at this point so then my next experiment what I try to do it will have it multiple nodes and run animations so but this is will be in another video thank you for watching let me know what you think if you like it give us thumbs up subscribe share the video help this channel grow and I greatly appreciate all your support